Hello everybody, welcome to another Coding Flamingo video. Today, we're not going to be really speaking about coding, but instead we're going to talk about whether you should upgrade your computer. So if you're looking at upgrading your computer for development um, and you start searching it, so if, even if you do like the compile tests or anything like that to try to justify it, as you can see, most of the stuff, it's all about games. So how can you translate gaming performance and so on, coding performance, and also is it worth it? Is it worth your time, how can you convince your manager? So for example, one of the things here at Kitos, we actually change the engineer's computers every new generation. Um, and the reason for that, you'll see the math behind it. So this is a conversation you can have your with your uh, manager. Hopefully the manager will shell out and give you a, a new computer. So first thing is we can see the, the difference. So in here we see a 14% difference in the benchmarks. As I said, it's mostly for like, it's not specific for coding. Um, actually I, I just upgraded mine from a uh, 56, uh, Ryzen 5600 to a Ryzen, to a Ryzen 7900. And the, the jump was actually 30%. And there's a little more than that. It was partly because of Ram. So Ram is way faster now with DDR5 instead of DDR4. So when there's a big jump in Ram, uh, a lot of the programs actually use a lot of Ram, um, to shout out writer and visual studio for eating all the ram of my computer so our, my compile time actually went down 30 percent when you think about it um, actually our compile time used to be a minute and a half now it's a minute so you compile 20 times a day being very very conservative that is um, an hour a week that you're saving by just shaving those 30 seconds so an hour a week 50 weeks a year you're saving over a a, a a week worth of work that you're not compiling anymore those 30 seconds it really adds up to a week worth of work every year we go to how much does the american average american and sorry i'm doing it with the us but i live in the us so how much does the average american software engineer make they make between 120 and 150 uh so i did the math you divided i grab 150 because it's way faster you divide that by 50 assuming you have a two-week vacation um, and that gives you a $3,000 a week. So that, that week that you're wasting, it's actually costing your company $3,000. A new computer is way less than $3,000. And these computers get upgraded every two years. Usually like the, the CPU uh, cycle is around two years. So you're saving the company $6,000 and costing maybe a $1,500 for a new computer. If you go top end, if you go middle, it might be $1,000. $700. So this is kind of like the economics conversation that you can have with your manager and hopefully it'll make you get a new computer. And if you're buying it for yourself, hope this makes sense. So, uh, this is kind of like one gives you the jump that I had and two gives you a little bit of arguments of how to get a new computer. So hope you liked it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.